What kind of headphones do you need? What kind of headphones for editing, mixing, recording? Can you just use one pair for everything? I'm Mike Migas, and today I'll be talking about headphones for podcast production. When I was studying audio production and then later worked in a professional audio environment, the advice from the teachers, from the veterans, was that we shouldn't mix on headphones. When you're mixing, you should do so in a studio, in an acoustically treated room with expensive studio monitors. Even though that the consumer who is listening to the music, who is watching the movie, does so in a normal environment like a living room, or in a car, or on the way to work. That's why in the past, mixing engineers had their way to test that. In a studio, they usually had a pair of cheap speakers that would mimic the consumer environment. And the classics were a pair of Yamaha NS10s. Or they would test the mixes in a car, on a hi-fi system, in different environments. I find that podcasting is the same. You can mix on expensive gear, you can work on your shows in a studio, but ultimately people will listen to your podcast on mobile phone earbuds, on Bluetooth speakers in their cars. And that's something that I always have on my mind when I work. Still, in a professional studio environment, headphones were used for referencing, for monitoring sound during recording sessions. And this changed with development of mobile studios with a new wave of audio producers who could and would work on a go. And suddenly, mixing on headphones wasn't such a sin anymore. With time, I learned what works for me, and in this video I want to give you some insights and also some recommendations. So let's start with recording. For the recording of your show, you don't actually have to worry about the quality of headphones as much as long as they isolate you from outside noise and give you clean and clear sound. For recording your show, I'd recommend a pair of these, which are Sony MDR7506, and they are closed on-ear headphones, which means they will isolate you from outside noise. They are a standard in a sound space, but I wouldn't use them for mixing your show. Back when we were starting and I didn't have much money, that was the only pair of headphones I had and I used them for everything. They are not that great for mixing because they're closed on ear, which means your hearing will get tired after a while. Also, the low end isn't that great and the high frequency response too. And if you go back to and listen to these old case file episodes, you will hear the difference in the mix. But of course, the headphones weren't the only element I've upgraded and improved since then. Still, I use them every day for editing because they're closed, which means they will isolate me from outside noise, and they're very detailed, they're very clean sounding, and I highly recommend you getting a pair. But remember, if you're working on them for a long time, your hearing will get tired, your ears will get fatigued, and you will lose that objectivity especially when you're doing some more advanced work. Later on, when I had some money from my work, I started to look for headphones that would help me with the mix, with the mastering, for case file and any other show that we would do. And I've ended up with these, which are AKG 712 Pro, and they are over-ear open headphones, and I couldn't be happier. They have that warm and natural sound, and because they're over-ear and open, means that your hearing won't get tired so fast. And they also let in some of that outside noise, because they aren't so isolating. And this means they reflect the normal environment, the consumer environment, much better. Because rarely people listen to podcasts in isolated spaces. So if you're into mixing, if you're into post-production, I highly recommend checking them out. But that's not the end. Of course, most people won't listen to your podcast on these AKGs or Sonys. They will listen on a normal mobile phone earbuds or earphones. And just like the mixing engineers in a studio would have the pair of cheap speakers, you know, Yamaha and stands, I have several pairs of these, which are just a cheap uh, earbuds. And during my mix, I usually do a one 
pass through, so I listen to the full episode on a pair of Vs. Sometimes uh, throughout I change them um, to a different one, but usually I use a pair of these AKGs that I got with my previous phone. And during the mix, I would then do a tiny adjustment and make sure that the mix, that the podcast sounds good on earbuds. It's impossible to make it sound perfect on each one of them, but you can make them sound good enough. So that's how I work with headphones. Each has a distinctive function in my production process. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I will put the links to the headphones that I mentioned in the episode in the description as well. But that's it for today. I'm Mike Migas from Migas Production. Share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.